Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I'm back with another sneak peek of a new technology that we're working on for the future. If you've used On One for any amount of time, you know that masking is a really important part of its capabilities, and we have a whole fleet of masking tools, each tool designed for a different scenario. One of the things that we've added is the ability to create straight or curved line masks using the new line mask tool. I'm going to show you in action how to use it here. Here's a photo I've opened up. Let me turn the preview off. There's the original. So far, all I've done is I've just corrected the perspective and brightened up the shadows a little bit. Now what I want to do is I want to add a glow to all of these window panes so it really looks like the light is streaming through those windows. So I'm going to go to Effects, and I'm just going to add a glow filter. And then I'll pick a preset to get me started. Something like this, Charge More Money Strong. That looks pretty good. Now, that makes the windows look the way I want, but it's also darkening everything else around it. What I really want to do is I want to be able to only put the glow on the windows. Well, I could do that with a brush, but it would take a really long time to go through and brush all those windows out. Let me show you a better way for something like a window that has a straight edge. I'm just going to invert my mask. So basically, I'm hiding the effect. And then I'll grab the new line mask tool. With the line mask tool, I can create simple geometric shakes like a pen tool or a polygonal lasso tool would in other apps. I'm just going to click and set points around each of these windows. When I get back to where I started, I just click to close the shape. I can then fill the area of the mask with white or black paint, depending on what I need. In this case, I'm going to set it to paint in, and I'm just going to click right here. And you can see what that's done is it has created a mask. I'm going to hit the O key on my keyboard so you can see it. There's that mask that it's created. I can control its opacity and its feather using the controls at the top. The great thing is these are non-destructive shapes. I can go back and change them at any time. I can change their feather and their opacity. I can move any of the points, delete any of the points, add points, or even curve the lines. I'm going to turn that mask view back off just so I can see what it looks like in the context of my photo. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat that for the other windows. So give me just a second. There you go. You can see I've added shapes to each one of those windows. And as I mouse over them, you can see the shape. I can select the shape and edit its points and properties if I want to. And I can do that after the fact. That's the really cool thing. Let's take a look at that mask again. There you go. You can see the mask I've created for all of those windows. There you go. That's the new line mask tool coming soon. Thanks for watching.